Lockheed insists that the company's safety record is still a good one. But if it is, the company doesn't boast about it. Last year, McCain employees had 97 lost time injuries. Compare that to only 28 at the huge Texas Gulf mining operation in northern Ontario. In New Brunswick, the McCains are known as the boys from the Upper St. John Valley who made good, and they certainly have. McCain's is now the second biggest processor of frozen foods in the world. And to the federal liberals and the provincial conservatives, McCain's is a showpiece example of government money well placed. But when you consider, as we have, the McCain's record in dealing with farmers, employees, unions, contracts, safety, what emerges is the picture of a family empire throwing barbecues and family picnics for its employees, sponsoring ball teams in the corporate town, and yet, at the same time, taking advantage of everything that the 20th century welfare state has to offer to big business. The McCains are undeniably astute, smart businessmen. As Harrison McCain said to me, if your kid were offered a scholarship, wouldn't you accept it? But up to now, on behalf of you, the taxpayer, the Canadian and New Brunswick governments have committed $21 million to that scholarship fund for the McCain's baby. And overseas, the story is much the same. It's been said, and we put the suggestion to Harrison McCain, that McCain's seems always to be at the public trough. Uh, you mean uh, that we, we, are, we, we look for, we look for uh, government loans or government grants uh, in establishing factories? because it's a, it's a matter of economics. Is there any other answer? Or? What do you think of the McCain's? Smart people. Smart people. And good people in many ways. Many ways. And, uh, but they're just so smart that I, I think they outsmart the farmers. And I can't blame anybody for being smart. I think they not only outsmart the farmers, but the politicians and governments. They're smart people. Well, I think that they that they hit it at a at a good time. Uh, they've had lots of Canadian money from the Canadian government, and uh, maybe if I had hit it at the same time and uh, had the grants that they've had, I might have thought myself to be quite smart too. The purpose to loan money in New Brunswick is to encourage employment, encourage employment, and encourage the use of indigenous materials as it is in Ontario, as it is in Manitoba, as it is in the Netherlands. Okay. Do you think that that's what the dream program of grants really had in mind to finance you so that you could, you could open plants all over the world? I don't think they did. We didn't get any grant on building a factory uh, from the Brunswick government in, to build a factory in the Netherlands. We borrowed the money in the Netherlands. But the fact that you had a solid kind of base here helps you to expand in other places. It may not be a direct factor, but certainly a very contributing indirect factor. Uh, if you mean that is our credentials, well, you're exactly right. Our credentials are that uh, we have businesses in New Brunswick and they run reasonably well. That's our credentials. That's smart. Uh, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs>